Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to another video. This is an update video to let you guys uh, know what's happening on the channel for the next 35 days following today. Um, and that's the 3rd of December until the 6th of January. We are going to be running a 1v1 tournament. My Twitch and my YouTube will have one new series every day. Um, and that's actually going to be all the content that you'll see on my YouTube channel for that five week period. Uh, but yeah, don't panic. I'm going to explain it. I know most of you have already heard about this or you've see, uh, heard me talking about it in other videos. But I'm going to tell you all about the broadcast schedule, the uh, the format, the prize pool distribution, the players, and answer a couple of um, frequently asked questions that I've been seeing pop up on my Twitter and my YouTube comments and also on my uh, live stream on Twitch. So it's called the Manfield Night 5K, sponsored by Gif Your Game. Um, and that is because five, yeah, $5,000 is the, is the prize pool. So the eight players, first of all, who are playing in the tournament are Fairy Peak, Scrub Killer, Coxer97, Ixo, OSM, Bluey, Flakes, and Ocelon. Uh, the, those last three qualified to the tournament through a closed qualifier. The first five were invited. And that bl brings me to the first thing I'm going to uh, talk about, and that's the, cl the closed qualifier. I do have some videos of that on my uh, YouTube channel. They've been uploaded in the past week or so. You might be wondering, where's the winner final between Bluey and Flakes? Why have I not seen that one yet? Um, and why didn't I get to see the Bluey versus Flores reverse sweep? Well, the answer to the first question there is, there will there will be no winner's final for the, uh, the closed qualifier. The whole purpose of the closed qualifier was to find out who the top three seeds were from that uh, you know group of players. Um, and since Bluey and Flakes both made the winner final, that's already top three in a double elimination format. So they they they've, they've qualified by making winners final. They don't need to play it. So that game never uh never happened. It won't happen. But they will play in league play, uh for the for the actual tournament itself. So you'll get to see them play, just not in the qualifier. Um, and as for the Flores versus Bluey, uh, where Bluey reverse sweat Flores, that was actually off stream. So that content doesn't exist. Bluey just told me that he reverse swept him. That's all. So the content you will see from the qualifier, um. Is the, that's the games I did stream. I didn't stream every game in the qualifier. That's just the games I did stream. Uh, so yeah, you can go back and watch them if you haven't already. See how the players made it in. Um, and yeah, you don't worry. You're not going to miss... Like, There's nothing that I streamed that didn't make it to YouTube. So you've not missed out at all. Um, the As for the other five players who were invited, they were invited based on their performances on my stream uh, you know, like all time and also in the past year. And uh, the only player who didn't, uh, who couldn't accept his invite was actually Alpha Fifty Four. He's done well on my stream in the past year, but he uh, had had school. But yeah, all all five of the other players did accept, um, which is awesome because I'm really excited to see how they do against each other. Um, so that's the players. Let me now go ahead and explain the format. So we have league play going into a gauntlet bracket. League play is round robin, best of five. Everybody plays each other once. One series a day, 28 days, and then league play will be completed. Nobody gets eliminated after league play, though. The players will just be seeded first through eighth, and then put into a bracket based on their seeding from league play. Uh, the first tiebreaker for league play, by the way, being win uh, win loss differential differential. I almost said differentiation. Win loss differential um, in games, so that that's uh, that's to. Uh, Benefit players who do really well 3 owing opponents and losing 3-2 rather than only 3 towing opponents and losing 3-0. So win-loss differential in games is the tiebreaker. Whenever players have the exact same amount of wins in or uh, series wins. Um, and like I said before, all the players will be uh, seeded from the league, how well they did in league play, into a gauntlet bracket. And the way that works is the bottom two players in the league play against each other in round one of the bracket. The loser gets immediately elim eliminated. That's them out. But the winner moves on to face against or to uh, face the sixth place finisher from the league, uh, and again the loser of that match is eliminated. The winner moves on to face the uh, player who finished fifth in the league, and then the winner moves of that moves on to play fourth, and then third, and second, and then first, and in the grand final. So if you do, if you come first in the league, you're already in the final. If you come second, you're in the semi-final. If you come third, you're in the quarterfinal. That's how gauntlet bracket works. Um, it should be pretty interesting because it makes all the league games mean something. Improving your seeding by even one spot in the league does give you a buy for an entire round. So it's really important that players take their league games as seriously as possible and do get as many wins as they can. Uh, and it should make it quite uh, interesting as well. See if somebody can make that hero run all the way through the gauntlet bracket or will the final boss be too much? Will somebody just uh, win it from the middle and continue on 
continue on through from there. I'll have to wait and see. But that's the format. Um, and it's going to be just a seven-day bracket or a seven-day gauntlet bracket uh, with one series per day, all best of seven. So on to the prize pool distribution now. Out of the $5,000 total, $1,500 will be locked in during league play. Uh, there will be $50 for every series win. So if a player wins a series, they get $50. And also a $100 bonus to the player with the highest goals per game. That's not highest goals, it's highest goals per game. There's a difference. Uh, the remaining $3,500 will be distributed based on player's performance in the gauntlet. Uh, if you finish last, you get nothing. Seventh gets $100. Uh, sixth gets 200, fifth gets 300, fourth gets 400, third gets 500, second gets 750, and the winner goes home with $1,250. So a pretty good jump up at the end there uh, for winning the tournament. Next, I want to talk to you guys about the broadcast schedule. So you can catch the show live uh, on Twitch every single day for the for the next five weeks. Uh, that's uh, on my own Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash johnnyboy underscore i. Uh, that'll be at 6 p.m. GMT every single day. Uh, so if you want to find out what that is in your in your own time zone, just Google it. Uh, Google's really good for the time zones, I hear. Uh, but yeah, 6 p.m. GMT. That's in the that's UK time at the moment, uh, and you can get that's for the live show. If you want to catch it on YouTube, as I'm sure most of you guys do, the upload will be or the video will publish when the live premiere is finished. So something around 8 p.m. GMT, you can expect to find the video. Uh, live on YouTube and that's every single day for the next 35 days so I'm gonna answer a couple of questions now uh, that I've been seeing quite frequently number one is uh, yes this will mean there's no other videos on my YouTube channel for these 35 days it's just gonna be purely uh, the highest level 1v1 uh, also higher production quality uh, content for five weeks um, and I know a lot of you are going to miss Marble Monday. A lot of people are going to miss the sillier videos that I do. But this is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, it's a project I've always wanted to work on, but I've never really found the time to do it. And now it seems like the perfect time. So that's uh, that's that's happening. There there are, there are no other videos for for this time. Uh, don't worry though. Every other all my, all the other types of videos that you guys like to see on my channel, they'll be back in January. Um, and hopefully you guys like the the one v one tournament. I'm going to get, like I said, 35 videos in a row, all much higher production quality than you're used to seeing on my stream, but definitely nothing, like, nothing incredible. We're not, uh, we're not going to be winning any, uh, any, uh, awards for the production, but it should be, uh, it should be much, uh, it'll be a massive upgrade in what you guys are used to. And of course, it's the best 1v1 players in Europe battling against each other for a lot of money. So I think that should be quite interesting to, to follow the story, um, all the way through. Secondly, uh, the question about or uh, the discussion about live versus pre-recorded. So yes, I'm not trying to hide the fact that uh, everything that you'll see in this tournament is pre-recorded. You guys on YouTube are pretty used to that. Everything on YouTube is pre-recorded. But my Twitch audience, there's a couple of a couple of people who doubt the uh, the entertainment value of um, streaming something that isn't live. Um, so I'll, I'll explain my thought process behind that, why I've decided to do it. You don't have to agree, but uh, this is why uh, I've decided to do it like this and why it will be done like this for the duration of the tournament with no exceptions. Uh, first of all, I'm not going to be in the country for the final two weeks of the tournament, so I can't live stream it uh, at the end of the tournament. I can't, and, and, it, and I don't want to live stream some of it and then not live stream the rest of it. It's, I want it all to be consistent. Uh, secondly, if you want a player, if you want a lineup like this, uh, like we have in the league, you can't do it live. You really just can't. Not for 35 consecutive days, one series a day. It just won't work. Like the players have uh, 3v3 tournaments that they have to focus on, 3v3 scrims, 3v3 uh, team practice. So if, if you want to get this lineup, uh, and if you, or if you want to get a lineup this stacked, it has to be pre recorded in the current um, like Rocket League landscape. So that's another reason uh, to, do it, to do a pre rec. Uh, thirdly, the, the the increased production quality, like uh, putting highlights in between games, doing uh, graphics and uh, intros and outros and stats, it, there's two ways to do that. One is to hire a big team of people or you know get a big team of volunteers to do it uh, or to help you out with it when you're doing it live. Or secondly, uh, you do it pre-recorded and do all the work yourself behind the scenes. And I want to do the second option because I don't like working with people. People suck. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's just it's just easier though if uh, if I can uh, try to have 
you know more control over everything myself that's just how i like to do things uh so yeah that, that that's one of the main reasons as well and fourthly i am casting every game live so when you're watching the tournament all of the gameplay footage uh combined with casting that you see will look exactly the same as any of my other videos it will look exactly the same as any of my other live streams uh because i am casting live and i'm recording my cast live for every single game so there's actually one game where the server is disconnected so you'll see that that happened and it's in the it's in the recording so uh yeah everything's lot everything will look exactly the same the actual product will be identical to what you're used to seeing on my stream just with better production quality that's that's uh, all there is to it so i think uh if if you if you still you know prefer if i did this live uh that's fine uh but the sh the short story is it's impossible <laughs> i i wouldn't have been able to the uh if 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 we did then uh the players would be of a lower would be a lower level of a lot of a lineup and uh yeah thirdly it wouldn't look that it wouldn't look as good so that's that's why i've decided to go for pre-rec and hopefully yeah hopefully it works out for your all of you guys who don't believe in it i mean the most viewed or the 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 community tournament in rocket league which got the most viewers live concurrent viewers uh ever was a pre-recorded tournament the 12 titans year two and uh, the rocket league world cup got I think average over 10,000 viewers. That's also pre-recorded. 12 Titans year one. Uh, massive, massive amount of viewers. Pre-recorded. Like, pre-recorded works in Rocket League. I know it doesn't work in other esports, but it does for it does for Rocket League, at least. Uh, in every... So far, in every other instance of it being attempted. So that's uh, that's the reason that it's going to be pre-recorded. Um, and you, sh you should... If, if I hadn't told you, some people probably wouldn't know. It's <laughs> You probably... Hopefully, you won't be able to tell. I, I'm trying to, you know, keep it as uh, similar, at least, gameplay and casting-wise, to what you're used to seeing. Um, as for the fact... The reason why I don't have a co-caster for this, it's, again, just there's no way that I could have somebody with me in person casting all these games, because they all happen on different days. They're recorded at really weird hours sometimes, so it's just not feasible. And I don't want to cast with somebody on Discord or Skype because uh, it's just not the same it's just really awkward so that's the reason why i'm doing like, everything solo uh and uh yeah i'm going to be hosting it and doing all of the voiceovers myself as well so hopefully you don't get too bored of my voice i know you guys on youtube are pretty used to hearing me talking so it shouldn't be too much of a problem so i think the only other thing i've got to mention if i've forgotten anything i'll pin it in a comment uh in the comment section but the one thing i did want to say is massive shout out to gift your game the uh sponsor of the tournament you guys should check them out if you haven't already the, uh, they've got an app that lets you clip your favorite moments f live from your Rocket League games. Whenever you score a good goal, you just press F1 on your keyboard. And uh, then once the game is done, you'll get a GIF sent to you on Discord off that goal. And it's all done on their end. doesn't take any of your own uh, processing power or graphics, uh, graphics card or anything like that. It's uh, it's 100% free uh, download and it just it, it works really well. I, 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 I don't know what I could say. Just uh, give it a go. It's very, very, uh, it's very, very good. I'm looking to see if there's anything in my notes here that I forgot to tell you guys because I have to record this just in one go. I don't have time to uh, to go back and edit this. Uh, but yeah, sponsor. We told you guys about the broadcast schedule, the format, and the price pool distribution, the players. Uh, if you do have any questions for this uh, or about the Manfield, Manfield Night 5K, then do leave them down below in the comment section and like the uh, the questions. If somebody else asks a question that you like, then like it so I can see that one rise up to the top and i'll, I'll try and uh, get back to you guys on everything but yeah other than that see you guys tomorrow hopefully you enjoy episode one of the manfield night 5k i'm really looking forward to it i'll be watching it live because uh, it's all pre-rec so i get to watch my own stream now it's great and uh yeah for the next 35 days that will be the content here on youtube uh hopefully you enjoy that as well it's so far very very entertaining stuff the games have that I have already already recorded have been fantastic can't wait for you guys to see them um but yeah as as always feedback much appreciated because we've never done anything like this before on my channel so i'd love to know what you guys think could be done better what you guys think uh, is being done well is being done well uh and if uh, something's uh, completely off then tell me about that as well we'd love to we'd love to know all of your guys feedback on that uh but yeah for now thanks for watching enjoy the tournament tomorrow enjoy it for the next five weeks hopefully you don't miss marble monday too much it'll be back in january but uh yeah cheers guys Take care and I'll see you in the next one.